Music, you can see we're at Winterdam, ran into a really good contact that we've made over the last couple years, Larry Mitchell, just is such a solid guy in the business. He's a musician, he's a mentor, he's a producer, he's done it all, and uh, you're based out of Alabama, but you're always all over the globe. I travel a lot. A you gotta lot. work. As a musician, you gotta work where you can. So right. I go to Italy usually once a year, and Germany once a year. A few years in a row, I went to Russia as well. And then um, I've been going to Seattle a couple of times a year, San Diego, LA, New Mexico, Santa Fe, New Mexico, Albuquerque, and back to the East Coast, Florida. Cleveland. I do some volunteer work with uh, kids with autism, CARD, uh, Center for Autism and Related Disabilities in Florida, and then Y Music in Cleveland. So, wow. I just... Yeah, Y Music is Mark and his wife. Oh, Phyllis. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, um, cool. Yeah, Mark Rivera. Yes, exactly. And, uh, so, any projects that uh, recently you've been involved with that you just are real happy about? And you yes. Wanna... I'm always producing. I produce a singer in Albuquerque, New Mexico. I mean, uh, Placidas, New Mexico. Her name is Nancy Rudolph, and we just finished a four song EP. And then for the last year and a half, I've been working with uh, Dawn Avery, a Native American uh, cellist that uh, I've worked with many times before, but we co-wrote music for a play by Heather Hansen and Ty Defoe. Ty Defoe is Native American artist, writer, singer, mm. actor, dancer. Uh, Heather Henson is a puppeteer and from the Henson family. Oh, her, her father wow. was, was uh, Jim Henson. Wow. And it's called, it was called Crane. It debuted a little bit last year and then they changed some things about it and now it's about to start uh, open again in February in New York and it's called a G-Jock. I can't remember a G-Jock, that's the name of the crane. It's about a crane. It's great, it's stunningly beautiful. Wow. So. Wow. So, gosh, it's so unique. It's, yeah, everything about this gentleman is very unique. He's worked from, I don't know, Gene Loves Jezebel to like, like Native American artists and, and I just think it's so cool. What do you got planned coming up this year in 2018? There's a artist in Costa Rica that wants me to produce his record and I'm looking at looking at going there. Uh, just more, I'm gonna do two more uh, EPs of my own and then I'm working with, with lots of other people. So. And you think kind of EP is a way to go as opposed to long play and now you can just get like four or five songs down? And I think that's probably a, a better way to go about right now. People aren't so much interested in the full albums. There are, there's this market for it, but I think it's more like getting the stuff out there. And, Almost a uh, singles market? It's a singles market, which if you think about it, uh, I guess in the 50s, that's where it was first, right? 50s and 60s. You know, you're right. It was the singles era. And, and then you put out the single, you get on the road, promote it, and you, while you're on the road, if the single's doing well, you got to go back in and do another yeah. single. Right. And then the uh, 70s was start of the album era. Absolutely. And so now we're back into singles. EPs and singles, yeah, yeah. because of the you know iTunes and stuff. Yeah. Very cool. Gosh, Larry, it's always a pleasure. Tell Phyllis and Mark I say hi. I will. Music you can see, Winter Nam, Larry Mitchell. Yeah.